our other moderator, Mrs. Undell, and our senior SOC members cannot be with us today because they are on a retreat. Goal one is engaging the school community. At Christ the King, we work together to complete a common goal. Our goals become well-rounded men and women for others. We are required to complete a certain amount of service hours each year. However, students often go over that goal. When they do, they are rewarded a certificate twice a year to the 10 plus club. We advertise our service events by announcing them during prayer, passing out flyers, and we also have students um, tell past experiences. And we have SALT ambassadors walk around the classrooms to uh, explain like the upcoming search events. I myself was a SALT ambassador for Linton campaign for Lord Children Hospital. But we also have ambassadors for other trips like ASP. This will be my second year attending. This year we have collaborated with the Nazareth Farm. I mean, this year we have collaborated with the National Honor Society on one of our biggest events called Dignity Breakfast. And we have more students involved each week. By completing service hours, we become better leaders. We learn experiences, I mean, situations that we never knew before, and that motivates us to do more service. Goal two is establish an effective leadership team. We at Christ the King have established an effective leadership team by making our students an action leadership team an application process. The application process consists of academic achievements, citizenship, ser Christian service, and answers to the short answer responses. We also participated in the SALT Day of Reflection. During the SALT Day of Reflection, we planned uh, events throughout the year, and we designed chairmen for events. And we also engaged in team building exercises such <coughs> as lava and other brain teasers. Goal three is expand volunteer capacity. Our best strategy for increasing volunteer service is to get the word out. My SALT team members and I take full advantage of this opportunity. Some ways that we spread out our service is by a Christian service board, which tells all upcoming events, morning and afternoon announcements, which updates us. We visit classrooms to inform and flyers and posters to keep in touch. Service hours are very much a requirement for graduation and also a part of our religion grade. As Amber already stated, we have a requirement for service hours. Student must complete 90 hours throughout the whole four years, starting with 15 freshman year, going up five each year. Something my SALT team did to make it easier for members in our school community to volunteer is expose students to different types of service. This made it easier because they can choose something which best catch their interest. Communication is a big part. Communication with the student body helps us get more invo involved in service. We had more students apply for summer service trips than ever before. This includes the Appalachia Service Project and Nazareth Firm. Overall, overall, service takes a very important role in our school, and not just our school, but also our school community. As of today, the total hours that were volunteered in the entire school community were 5,000 plus. And to me, that is a very large number. I have goal for expanded financial capacity. We do this through fundraising. As the SALT team, we set goals. This year, at our blood drive with the American Red Cross, we wanted to get 30 pints. Our turnout was so impressive that the American Red Cross gave us $250 of scholarship. This event was so great because of our donors. People were moved to help and deeply motivated by the important cause. This is our first year doing Make a Change Lurie's Children fundraising, and we based our goals on a similar fundraiser we did last year, Pennies for Patients. The student body raised $700 from that. Our team, we know how competitive our student body is, and competition will engage our peers, allowing us to raise the most money. Make a change is still going on, but so far we have raised $682.81. Also, we have fundraised for summer service, like ASP, a trip I will be attending this summer. The cost of the summer trip is $900 per student. We do fundraising through St. Giles Parish in Oak Park. We have sold poinsettias, and participated in a letter writing campaign to set off the cost of the trip. So we have, we have had 48 potential donors from the blood drive, 18 pints of blood, $682 from Make a Change, and $709 for summer service. Goal five is telling stories in our community. At Crest King, we offer a variety of service projects and many opportunities for others to come join us to help make a difference. Ways to reach out to our peers are through our school publications. We announce our service opportunities during our morning and evening announcements. We also have 
our CTK annual newsletter, news report, which goes out yearly, and that is mainly directed towards our donors for the school. We also have a CTK Eve newsletter, which is mainly directed for our donors and for other people in the community. We also have a CTK website, which is ctk.org, which we post our service opportunities also, and we also have a CTK Facebook page, and our name is Christ the King Jesuit College Preparatory School. Goal six, grow and expand SIA. This year we hosted the Jesuit Day of Service with volunteers from other, other Jesuit schools such as Loyola, Loyola Academy, <coughs> St. Ignatius, and Crystal Ray. We also held the leadership training. Crystal Ray is our sister school, so we intentionally partner up with them for several activities. Moreover, we know their service program very well. Three years straight, we have joined Fenwick, Oak Park Group 4 students on the Appalachia Service Project, repairing homes in Appalachia, Kentucky. In order to engage with partner schools, we marketed SIA and we pulled in Crystal Ray, our sister school, and they are here shadowing us today. The most challenging aspects with partnering with other schools, specifically for the Jesuit Day of Service leadership training, which was communication, transportation because we live in different areas, and scheduling because we are involved in school activities. Our efforts with partnering with other schools created friendship, experiences, opportunities, and great impressions. Goal seven, innovate. One of our moderators, Mrs. Undale, put the service hour spreadsheet on a Google Drive, making it easy for religion teachers to manage them and stay on top of students' completed hours. We asked clubs and teams to commit to do at least one service hour event together. The National Honor Society committed to two dignity breakfasts. While we would have liked more clubs to get involved this year, we believe participation will expand next year. Last year's SALT, last year's SALT team application, last year's SALT team redid this, this year's SALT application and they asked applicants why they were interested in service. Our idea of our, our idea of our Google service hours for a sheet increased engagement because it allowed teachers to stay on top of stu students service hours and allow students greater access to information about service hours. Our idea of inviting clubs and organizations on campus helped us reach out to students who don't always participate in service through Christ the King. Our idea of the new application process helped those SALT members as us who are truly committed to and passionate about service. It also made it more prestigious to get in. Here's our SALT Snapchat for our service for 2013 and 2014. As you can see, we have 14 SALT members. 92% of the student body participated in service this year. We have 70 10 plus members. 430 community members were involved in our service. We impacted over 4,000 people with our service. We got 18 pints of blood donated. We won $250 in scholarship. We have 5,546 Christian service hours total. 31,571 hours since Christ the King opened in 2008. We raised $709 for summer services, and we raised $682.81 <coughs> for Lori's Children's Hospital. Thank you. Thank you. So not to be outdone, your school is named after somebody pretty famous too. Mm -hmm. But can you tell us how you think the service activities of SALT, by the way, who came up with SALT as the acronym? One of the seniors who's not here. <laughs> and it was nice. Um, but how does that fit in with your religious training? And do you think it gives you an advantage or disadvantage or makes no difference as compared to a secular school in terms of promoting service? <laughs> well, um, I think that it combines with us because we are a faithful school. I mean, because, you know, normally you'll think that public schools wouldn't really incorporate, I don't know, service or something because of public. But us being a um, religious school, service is one of, like, the main things that we try to put out for our students because it's not just, you know, um, doing the work it's like why we do it and how we do it to help others so i think that's mainly corporate with us the service hours are phenomenal the um dollars raised you know are good and every dollar helps 
what do you guys <coughs> plan to do to increase the fundraising impact of the program over the next couple of years? I'll say that we have to more likely like expand like within our school community and not just like our school, but yeah, like expand for um, get students like more involved, more wanting to do it to catch their interest. So yeah. Thanks guys, great. <laughs>